The development update for Bot 2042 went live a couple of hours ago and we got some very exciting and interesting news, so let's take a look at what is coming. There was a rumor about classes coming back to 2042 a few months ago and it turns out to be true after all. Apparently DICE is planning on fitting the specialists we already have in the good old classes system. From my understanding, specialists will keep their specialist gadgets, which is unique to each and every one of them, but they will share their traits with the rest of the specialists that are in the same class with them, of course. So apparently specialist traits are going to be gone and classes traits are going to be introduced in order to, you know, be able to fit three specialists into one class. They didn't expand a lot on the classes issues, they just let us know that they're coming, so we don't really have that much information. As you can see, Dozer, McKay and Silence will be in the Assault class, Pike, Rayo and Casper will be in the Rican class, Falk and Angel will be the supports, and last, Iris, Boris and Liz will be the engineers. Classes will make their appearance with Season 3, so we will have to wait a little bit longer for them to see them. Regarding the specialists, we also got to know that there are more model changes coming across Season 2 and Season 3, which is something which, you know, it's not game-breaking, it's not a game-changer, but it's definitely a welcome change. Moving on, something I really liked when I saw, and I think it's an awesome change, Portal weapons will start being added to All Out Warfare. The first two weapons that we're gonna get are the M16A3 from Battle 3, probably one of the most loved weapons in the entire franchise, and then we're also gonna get the M60E4. Not a big fan of the M60 myself because I'm not a big fan of the LMGs in general, but we have been playing with only two LMGs for the past nine months, so I'm just happy to have a new option for my LMG category. These two will be available from the start of Season 2 along with the new weapons that they are bringing. This was the exact phrasing DICE used in the development update video, along with the new weapons. Hopefully a stupid gadget like crossbow is not considered a weapon this time around, so we're gonna end up getting more than just one usable weapon. They also said that during Season 2 more portal weapons will keep getting added to the game, which again is just brilliant news simply because the lack of weapons in 2042 is just so noticeable, it, it takes all the fun out of the game having to play with the same three guns all day long. My favorite part of the development update, however, was the map part. Season 2 will feature two reworked maps. First one coming in September and being Renewal. Here's some footage from it. I'm not a big fan of Renewal in all honesty, so even though there seems to be an important amount of rework done to the map, I still feel like it's not gonna play good. I might be wrong here, but just that's just my gut feeling. I never enjoyed that map. I feel like it's gonna play like crap for, you know, the better part of it. And it's not that I don't like, for example, on Breakthrough, the last sector is really fun to play. It's really nice. You can have fun. You can, you know, pull some great flags. There are plenty of areas that fights are taking place. However, the big areas of the map just feel like they're just killing you know, any fun you can have in it. I, I, I don't know why, I, I think that even with the cover, the map is developed in a way that fights still gonna keep taking place only in specific parts of the map and the rest of the map is just gonna be empty. However, I'm sure that players who enjoy renewal the way it is right now, they will love the reworked version of it. The second map is Orbital. It will be ready during October and it looks just amazing. The tunnel is now useful with more entrances and, and more exits, so actual gunfights can take place in the tunnel. People will have a reason to go there, right? The big runway, or whatever it's called, also looks amazing and with a bunch of cover, finally infantry players will have a chance to cross it without dying 15 times in a row. I have the feeling that Orbital will literally look like a complete new map and I'm super excited about it. My opinion is that from what we're seeing right now, it's just gonna be probably the best map in the game after Exposer, of course, because it, it, it looks, the rework that it's gonna get, it actually looks like it can have impact on the gameplay experience. Not like just, oh, look here, I added five containers, uh, let's call that cover, right? I think that they're doing some pretty, pretty good work on Orbital. 
We also got to know a little bit about the new map as well as what's a couple of seconds of it. Apparently it's perfect for infantry focus gameplay, at least that's what they said. And from this photo it looks like it's a giant ship which I guess is where the most action will be taking place inside the damn ship and outside. I'm saying damn ship because we have a bunch of ships in the game, right? We have discarded. We have a uh, manifest with the ships. We have now this new map. What's up with all the ships? Anyways, and I'm guessing outside of the damn ship, there are some containers, some barracks from what I can see. And I guess that's where, you know, a couple of points that will serve as flag points will be. So, you know, the conquest can actually happen. Overall, I'm super excited about what we saw. I have accepted the fact that 2042 was released super early and was developed by people with less experience than previous Battlefield titles. I'm not talking about the normal employee developers that just do what they're told, but about the ones that call all the shots. The leadership changed during Christmas, if I remember correctly, after a huge backlash from the players and the new people in charge are trying to put this shit together and actually fix it. I'm still getting angry with the game and play it very little because I think I can spend my time playing other games having much more fun than 2042, but as I said, I accepted the fact that 2042 will be a decent or even a good game at least after the first four seasons. So yeah, that's it pretty much, guys. Tell me your thoughts about all the new things that are coming in the game. Do you like the direction 2042 is taking? Sadly, there were no more information about season two, but as soon as we get some info on that, I will be sure to let you all know, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.